Our today's crime story is about the death angel. Carlos Eduardo Robledo Puck, the Argentinian serial killer. Carlos Eduardo Robledo Puck was born on 19 January 1952. He was also known as the Angel of Death, or the Black Angel, is an Argentine serial killer. He was convicted of 11 murders, 1 attempted murder, 17 robberies, 1 rape, 1 attempted rape, 1 count of sexual abuse, 2 kidnappings and 2 thefts. He has been in prison since 1973. In 1956, when Carlos Eduardo Robledo Puck was only 4 years old, his parents decided to move the family to Borges Olivos, Buenos Aires, from their hometown, where they rented an apartment at first floor of a hardware store. Carlos Eduardo Eduardo Robledo's family was a poor working class family and Carlos was a shy boy. As he belongs to a poor family, in the very early stage of his life Carlos stepped in the crime world. In his first crime, Robledo Puck accompanied with Jorge Antonio and together they rob the discotheque in Ama, and steal 350,000 pesos. For this robbery Carlos killed the owner and the night watchman of the discotheque, while they were sleeping. This was the beginning of Carlos to turn into the Death Angel. Immediate after in 1971 Carlos alias Death Angel with his accompany robbed a spare parts store of Mercedes-Benz in Vicente Lopez. In this attempt the Black Angel flee with 400,000 pesos. During robbery Carlos shoot three people found there. One lady and two men. He also tried to shoot a young baby, but fortunately his fire missed th target. Out of all of the other three victims two survived after severe injuries. A man was shot to death by Carlos on the spot with his gun. In the same year Carlos Eduardo Robledo Puck with his accompany shoot to death a supermarket night watchman. In the same year June, Carlos with his friend raped a 15 years old girl. They took the girl in back seat of a stolen car and raped her. After rape Carlos shoot her to death. To make sure her death he shoot her five times. In the same months last week they repeated the same, this time they raped a 23 years old girl, and Carlos, the death angel shoot her seven times. In August 1971, his friend died in a car accident. Robledo Puck was driving and fled from the scene unscathed. In November of the same year, Robledo Puck accompanied a new friend. With his new accomplice, Hector Somoza, stormed a supermarket in Boulogne and, using a .32 caliber Astra pistol that they had obtained a few days prior in the robbery of an armory, riddled the scene with bullets. Within a period of few weeks in November, same year, Carlos with his new accomplice broke into two car dealerships and murdered the watchman, stealing over 1 million pesos. In February 1972, Robledo Puck and Somoza broke into a hardware store. They murdered the watchman of the store and tried to open the money safe with the keys they obtained from the watchman's body. They were unable to open the safe and, allegedly in a state of confusion during which Robledo Puck apparently was startled by something, he shot Somoza and killed him. In order to impede or prevent identification of the body by police investigators, he took a blowtorch and burned the face of his deceased accomplice. After opening the safe with the same blowtorch, he took the money he found there and fled the scene. He was arrested on 4 February 1972, after his identity card was found in Somoza's pants pocket. After arrest, the death angel was tried in the courts and sentenced to life imprisonment. Life imprisonment is the maximum sentence in Argentina, to be served in the high security prison of Sierra Chica, near the city of Olavaria. The last words Carlos spoke in the court were this was a Roman circus. I was judged and sentenced beforehand. He was examined by the psychologist and their analysis was presented in the court as. 
Rubble Pack comes from a legitimate and complete home, absent from unfavorable hygienic and moral circumstances. There were also no economic constraints of importance, reverses of fortune, abandonment of the home, lack of work, personal misfortune, illness, effective conflicts, overcrowding or promiscuity. According to the country's law, he became eligible for parole in 2000, but, he didn't submit any petition for parole. Carlos Puck submitted petition for parole in 2008, but his petition was rejected by the court, as the court consider him still be a threat to the society. In 2013, the Death Angel filled a petition requesting to review of his sentence or, failing that the review of his sentence, his execution by a lethal injection, as death penalty was not legal in Argentina. The Supreme Court of Justice denied both the requests for review of his sentence and the request for execution, as of which would have been illegal. In March 2015, the Supreme Court of Justice rejected an appeal filed by Puck against the aforementioned judicial decision whereby he was denied parole. Till 2017 the Death Angel served the longest prisoner in Argentina. As of film has also been released on his life. He had served his life's 45 years in the jail. Kindly don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. Thank you for watching this video.